it's on now. Good evening, Elmira Baptist Church. It is Thursday, May 18th, 2023. This is your update. And yes, we are a few hours late. There's a lot going on here, but I'm happy to be with you and update you. There's one particular update I want you to catch. I'll give it to you in a minute. Psalm 119, 128. Psalm 119, 126 to verse 128 says this. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. We're going to look more at that in a minute when we get to our devotional, but let me give you a quote I came across this week from Richard Wurmbrun, or as we usually say in America, Richard Wurmbrand. He was the Romanian pastor who was jailed for many years and eventually expelled from Romania because they saw him as an enemy of the state. He said this about the Gospels. If Jesus had been an invention, the ones who invented him would never have written in their Gospels that they themselves had doubts about him. They would never have said, that they doubted him, even after his resurrection. The gospel is the only religious book of the world which expresses the truth together with doubts about this same truth. Okay, here's the announcement I want you to catch. This coming Sunday is our Food and Fellowship Sunday. And yes, it is the third Sunday of the month. Normally we do it on the fourth Sunday of the month. But Memorial Day weekend, we're going to have a picnic on Memorial Day. So this Sunday... Let me encourage you to bring a dish. Please bring enough for your family and another family because I anticipate we're going to have visitors. We want to invite them to stay. There should be plenty of food. Bring a salad or a dessert and we'll take some time after morning worship to eat together. And then of course have a time of praise and testimony. And I can't stress enough to me as your pastor, this is the highlight of the month for me. To hear how God is at work in your life, changing who you are from the inside out, aligning your heart with his heart as you pray. Sunday school starts at 945. Scotty's going to continue his series on Colossians. Morning worship at 11 o'clock. I'm going to preach on developing spiritual maturity. Read James chapter 1 verses 21 through 25 to be prepared for that message. And then in the afternoon, John 16, Jesus says, In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. We're going to look at that verse and see how Jesus has overcome the world. That's in the afternoon. And then again, because we'll have met in the afternoon, there is no 5 o'clock worship on this coming Sunday because we'll have met at 9.45, 11 o'clock, and again about 1.30. Our goal will be to live stream Sunday school, Sunday morning worship, and that praise and testimony time. But again, sometimes our technology fails us. That is the goal. And then, of course, to post those to sermon audio following that. But don't miss your chance to gather with, with us to worship God as a group of believers, as, a, as, as the body of Christ. So here's the upcoming schedule. This Sunday, May 21st, the Food and Fellowship. Sunday, May 28th, is our VBS meeting after morning worship. Along with that, we want to run a live scan of some of you. You know who you are. You need to bring ID. Monday, May 29th, is our Memorial Day picnic. Again, we're meeting at Magnolia Park, asking you to bring some meat to put on the grill, some a salad or a side dish, and a dessert, and of course, some drinks. We'll spread all that out, and we'll share all that the Lord provided for us. Plan is to start eating about 12, 12, 15. So we need your food there by 11, 30, 11, 45, so that we can put it on the grill and cook it completely. We don't want any raw meat on that particular day. We want to cook it thoroughly. Saturday, June 3rd, we're going to have a work day. That's Saturday, June 3rd, a work day here at the church. Ladies, men, anyone can come. If you have any experience painting, we're going to put you on a paint project. So wear clothes that you can paint in. That's the key for that work day. Saturday, June 3rd. Sunday, June 4th is graduate recognition night. 
If you have a graduate from kindergarten or high school or college that you would like us to recognize, please reach out to me so that we can put that into our program. Saturday, June 10th is going to be our Vacation Bible School Blitz. And then Vacation Bible School is June 19th to the 23rd. And Summer Camp Week is July 17th to the 22nd. As you are praying for Elmira Baptist Church, please pray for that Vacation Bible School program during the uh, last full week of June. We need God's blessing. We need His help if we're going to, to accomplish His will. By the way, it's not the last full week of June. It's June 19th to the 23rd. The next week is the last full week of June. Let's go back to that psalm. Those three verses from Psalm 119. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Notice, first of all, how the heathen treat God's law. It says, they have made void thy law. Now, it doesn't mean by that that somehow they can cancel God's law and God's law doesn't work anymore. No, what they think they have done is gotten rid of God's law. They think they've canceled it out. They think it doesn't apply to them anymore. What God said, no, we don't need to worry about that. That's the thinking of the heathen. Contrast that with our thinking. It says, I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. What if somebody offered you money to break God's law? Would you take it? Well, I hope the quick answer is no, of course not. Because we value God's commandments above worldly wealth. But he goes beyond that and he says, I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Where the heathens say, we're going to make void God's law. We're not, it doesn't apply to us. We don't have to follow it anymore. We hate the false way. And we esteem God's ways, the ways he's put in his book, the Bible. We esteem his ways in all things, concerning all things, to be the right way. I hope that's your heart, and I hope that you'll join us this Saturday. We're going to meet at 9.45 for Sunday school, 11 o'clock for morning worship, and then after a time of food and fellowship, meet about 1.30 for a time of praise and testimony. Join us.